Kitchen Doctor's Adventures. We got some ice here, so uh, not much is not gonna last long. It's warming up. Uh, Sunday, I was fly fishing. Today, going ice fishing. It's Friday, so that's uh, five days later. Gonna head out on the ice. Last night, I stepped on the ice. It's about one and a half to three inches thick. Not the greatest ice, so we'll see. Today, it's warmed up already plus one degrees. And we got more snow last night. Not sure if it'll be totally possible, but I got the sleigh loaded up with way too much gear as usual. We'll try dropping in some jigging jaw jackers. Uh, jigging, whatever, and see what happens. So let's go. Okay, the moment of truth. I drilled holes right here last night, and it was like three inches, maybe two inches of white ice, one inch and a half of good clear ice because we had snow and it melted and it froze. That's what makes the white ice. The black ice is the hard stuff. That's what you want. Okay, so I'll go out there and drill some holes and we'll see how thick it is. Because this is probably our last chance to get out there because it's going to warm up next uh, few days and it'll be gone. Unless we get another cold snap here before the winter's done. Okay, let's go drill some holes. Oh yeah, and I got these things, right? If you fall through, it's not game over. You just have to get out of the ice. That ice is not very good at all. That white ice on top, there's about less than an inch and then about half a centimeter of water, maybe just under two inches underneath so gonna have to step really lightly or it might fall through okay so lesson learned you see I knew, I watched the pond freeze, so I knew exactly what had happened, so, but when you go to a lake and you don't, you see it frozen, you obviously don't know what's going on, because you haven't seen it freeze. The lake froze from my corner out that way. So right here, under my feet, is over three inches of ice. About ten feet away is maybe two and a half. And about twenty feet away, that other hole I drilled has about half an inch of space, a little bit of water, half an inch, a little space of water and about half an inch of ice. So that's about an inch and a half of ice, all those layers, and that stuff is super weak. You'll just go right through. So I could feel it as I was walking out there that the ice was actually giving way. You can hear the layered ice, that really thin ice, like collapsing when you're walking on it. So I drilled another hole and it went right through no time flat. So there's no way I can go out there safely in that area I'll probably go right through so let's stay safe and stay along this edge where I drilled some holes and see what happens here okay all right put in a jaw jacker here jigger we'll put out the jigger actually we don't need those legs for putting the jigger out middle pin that's the most common setting and then my rods are around 28 inch long rods that one's actually the jaw jacker rod this is the jaw jacker rod. It's a 29 inch one. That's the one I use for trout and panfish. I put that one on about setting six. I think five or six. We'll see once it's up. I can see the bend in it once it's up. Okay, take out this jigger here. These are the legs you have to extend on the jigger, the big legs. And then there's this main pin. Make sure when you buy a jigger, you buy a jaw jacker too, because it doesn't come with it. The jaw jacker, your old ones you have, has this little attachment here on the bottom, this little pin hole. You put it through there, and then you push it into your jigger. All the way through, I'll still come apart so that the little pin on the other side goes through. Then you grab a wheel. What kind of wheels do we have here? What should we put on? Uh, maybe I'll try the the two tooth wheel. It's got two teeth. Okay, and then you just slide it on. Get, let's get the bait on here. Just using a little tungsten jig from Backcountry Tackle, now called Circle Tackle. Oh, where'd my bait go? Right here. Oh, I 
lost one maybe. No, it got in there pocket. I use mealworms, half a mealworm. Just break it in half and thread it on the hook so it doesn't stick out too far. Leave the other half here so when a fish bites and need more bait, you can use that one. Try to get the hook hanging as horizontal as possible. Like that. Sometimes it's good to have the hook a little bit down because it seems to get a better hook like that. Like a 45 degree angle to horizontal. Oh yeah. Now you put the rod in, it'll start doing its thing. Because it's the bigger wheel, you need a little bit of force to set the thing off. So tighten this wing nut up a bit or else it'll just set off. You don't want it to fall against gravity, so tighten it up a bit. Okay. Yeah, so that setting six is good for these 29 inch rods. Oh, look at that. Fish on already? I was just sitting here checking a text message and bam, fish on. Look at that. That was quick. Just had it down there a few seconds. Stood up to text the person from work about the night shift tonight and fish on. So drag is really important with uh, the jaw jackers. You need to have drag because fish needs to be able to run during the time it takes you to get to the jaw jacker. Like you saw, I was right here so it didn't matter. But uh, usually, usually you're not right beside the jaw jacker. So you might need the fish to run. Here we go. I'll just pop this little fish right up here. It's a beautiful rainbow trout. Look at that one. On that, uh, right there. Beautiful fish. On that little, that's an atomic wax worm. I like that one for trout with the really bright colors. Okay, we'll pop them back in the hole. We'll get a picture first. Okay. Let this guy go. Sometimes tipping them upside down makes them relax. There we go. Since I had this guy out of the water for a while, we'll just hold him here so he gets his energy back. Oh, he's back. Look at that. Took off, no problem. Oh, got a fish. Hooked up with one. Bring the camera, I got a fish on. You do? Yeah. You wanna reel it in? What? You wanna reel it in? What? You wanna reel it in? What? Reel him in. You got one? Hooked that one on the spoon. I wasn't even paying attention. Once again, I pulled out the phone to check my messages and fish on. I can see yeah. Yeah. I can see oh, he's running. Don't want to point the rod directly at the fish. You got to keep the rod bent, remember? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's running. I mean, what time is it right now? I'm there he goes. Step on, this. on this next jaw jack, I'm gonna try this little thing I tied. It's like a little jig with feathers, marabou. Some rubber legs, kind of looks like a Nymph, dra dragonfly nymph or something. Is Sierra coming? No. No. She said she had to, had to practice her ballet. She said what? She said she had to practice her ballet. Oh, had to practice her ballet, yeah. 
Oh, there's a fish. I'm gonna catch a fish right now. He was right there. <laughs> oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Like every time I go on the phone, I, I got another one. Dang, got him. Ice fishing right now, can you believe it? Ice fishing and working at the same time. <laughs> you wanna reel it in, Sally? Here. <laughs> My daughter's gonna reel it. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah, from today, yeah. yeah. I don't know, it looks like the same one. <laughs> I think we got the same one. <laughs> I guess this walk. Oh, that's a big one. We already caught this one. <laughs> this is the same one. <laughs> Let's see if we'll catch the same one. You found it? Guys, there's a fish here. Guys, there's, there's a fish right here. Who wants to come reel it in? We got one. We got one on the jig I tied on the jaw jacker. The kids are gonna come reel it in. Is it Sierra's turn? Sierra's turn to reel it in? Pick it up. Right here, right here. This is the rod. Grab it. Oh, you got him? Oh, don't break the line. You got him. Oh. <laughs> you That's got him. Heavy. heavy one, huh? It's pretty dark, huh? Yeah. Should we get him back in the water? Yeah. I you don't want to. Oh, no, them. You want to do what? Let him go? Yeah. Well, because you were playing with them for too long. This one, we're just going to let go quick. Yeah. So you're going to slide them back in the water? Yeah. Okay, I've got to get the hook up. Man, you really ate this thing. They're hitting hard. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, you got to slide them back in. Oh. No, okay, yeah. <laughs> Watch out for the rod. Okay. Okay. We got another one on. We got another one on the stationary jaw jacker. Every jaw jacker's gone off tonight so far. One, two, three. They're all working. And I caught two on my rod. Oh yeah, get them, get them, get them, get them, Callie. You're gonna get them. Oh man, he's pulling hard, huh? Yeah, I think that one's on the chartreuse tungsten seven millimeter. Oh, did you just pull it? You pull it out of his mouth. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, you're pulling a little too hard right there at the hole. That's okay. Got to take it easy right there by the hole, otherwise it pops out. Okay, we still got our hook though. You didn't break the lines. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, we got another one, Kelly. We got one right here. We got one. Is it your turn, Sierra? Come on, Sierra. Come on, Sierra. It's Sierra's turn. She only got one. You got a couple. I know. That's okay. It's Sierra's turn. You had your chance. Come on, run fast. He's still on there. He's still fighting. Come on, Seer. Oh, he's pulling hard. Look at him pulling hard. You got him. You got him. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, careful, careful, not too hard. He's right there. You got him, you got him. Good girl. Oh, he's that big one. Oh, don't break the line. Go easy on the line. Oh boy, don't pull too hard. It's heavy. Gonna break that line. He's fighting so hard right here. Okay, there. That's a nice one. Oh boy, that's a big one. <sighs> Look at him. Okay, you got him. Yeah, that was heavier than last time. Yeah. Look at that big one. It was heavier. We got him on the jig I tied. That's the second one on the little jig I tied. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably have to do a little episode on how I tie those jigs. They work pretty good. Yeah. Second one on the jigging jaw jacker. Let's and that go. one was heavier than the other one. Okay, there he goes. Goodbye. Here, Daddy. Okay, good job. Bye-bye.
I'm gonna put my flashlight on here. My light. Careful, see as you walk around. Okay, let's see. Now I can see you. Now we got. Now I got some action here. We got the cell phone light on, catching rainbows in the dark. Okay, I'll come help you. Rainbows are my favorite. Oh, that's a nice big one. Oh, don't break the light. Oh, yeah. That's a nice big one, Callie. Last time I... Look at that one. Okay, you got to pop the hook out and slide them back in. Here, I'll pop the hook out. I was Okay. Look at this beauty right here. Pop the hook out. That's a nice one. Oh, come on. Come on, slide the hook out. Oh, oh just wait. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, just wait. Let me this up. Okay. Don't get me. Oh. Slide him back in. Okay. Man, look at that. We're fishing in the dark. <laughs> Fish are still biting. I was cleaning up the gear, left that one in, and boom. Fish on. That's seven. Seven rainbows tonight on the ice. <laughs> Well, that's it for now. I think um, got three quick ones. That's pretty good. Just for ice fishing right by the dock here. Sorry, I was on the phone seam for all three of them, but that's fishing when you're still on call, I guess. So let's. Uh, I'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Give me some comments below. If you like seeing stuff like this, I'll keep trying to do it. But the ice might disappear in a couple days. Okay. See you later.